The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 11th, 1975, in Durban, South Africa. The word dharma, as it is explained in the English dictionary, a kind of way. Actually, dharma does not mean that. Dharma means your occupational duty, the characteristic. Everything has got characteristic. Just as this microphone, the characteristic of microphone is to vibrate the sound loudly. This is dharma. If the simply the microphone is there and it does not act to produce the sound loudly, then it is out of his dharma or out of order. You try to understand what is dharma. There are many other examples, just like water. Water is liquid, everyone knows. Uh, but sometimes water becomes solid, ice, under certain circumstances. But that is not his dharma. The to remain liquid is dharma. Therefore, sometimes water, even it is transformed into solid ice, it melts, again wants to become water. This is dharma. So, what is our dharma, we human beings? There is no question of any sect, any nation, or any party, no, as human beings. As human beings or living beings. What is our dharma? Dharma is to render service. Every one of us is rendering service. As a family man, he is rendering service. As a society man, as a national, everyone is, whatever, or occupation, as a medical man, you are also offering your service. As an engineer, you are offering your service. Or any other businessman, you are also sometimes businessman, they hang the signboard. Our first business is to offer his service. So everyone is engaged in giving service to somebody else. This is called dharma. <coughs> Basic principle of dharma. So, what is our dharma, living entity? Our dharma is to render service. But we are rendering service, but no. We are rendering service not rightly, but wrong. Therefore you are not satisfied. There are many examples, just like in our country Mahatma Gandhi, he also, he was here, he gave so much service, he gave service in India, but what was the return? The return was he was killed by his country. This is the return, practical. The return was that he wanted to establish nonviolence and his countrymen proved that nonviolence cannot go on. You must die by violence. This is material world that however you may render service to your family, to your country, 
your friend. To anyone, he will never be satisfied. Rather, when he is dissatisfied, he will kill him. This is material work. So my occupational duty is to render service to somebody. But I cannot satisfy that somebody. This is material work. To go on giving service. But he will never be able to satisfy to the person to whom you are giving service. This is material work. So what is the defect? The defect is that my business is to render service to the Supreme Lord, which is misplaced in so many ways. In so many ways I am giving service to my society, to my friend, to my community, to my nature, and so on and so on. That is misplaced. Your duty is to render service to Krishna or God, but that is being misplaced. Therefore you are not satisfied, neither the person to whom you are giving service, they are also not satisfied. This is the material world. Therefore Krishna comes. Yada yada hi dharma saglani bhavati Dharma again. What is that dharma? To render service. When there is discrepancy to render service, then Krishna comes to teach you how you should render service. So we have created so many platforms of service. They are not giving us satisfaction, neither to the person nor to me. So Krishna comes to rectify it. Yada yada is dharma glani bhavati. This is glani. This service is misplaced. Then what is to be done? Sarva dharma anpuritadya mami kam karanam. This is This is what? All other service I have given you already the example. Who can give better service than Mahatmana? Who can become such honest man? ideal man, he was addressed as Mahatma. Still his service was not recognized, he was king. So that is the result of material service. Therefore Krishna says that this kind of service rendering will never satisfy you, neither the party will be satisfied. You give up all this wrong engagement, you give service to me. Sarva dharma on paritajya, mami kam saranambaha. Then I will give up so many duties. I have got, yes, you can give up. No, I will be involved in sinful activities because I am giving all other service. Yes. Ahantva sarva papi bhama khaisa. I shall give you protection. Don't bother, don't worry. This is the saman samastan of the instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. And you have to learn it. Then our life will be successful. In every respect we can render service. In all positions we can render service to Krishna. And that is being taught here. Si si karmani Si si karmani aviraka. You are a medical man, you are giving service, you can also be engaged in giving service to Krishna. Si si karmani. Or you are a businessman, or you are an engineer, whatever you may. Si si karmani. Everyone has got a particular type of duty engagement, that is dharma. Si si karmani aviraka. Samsiddhi lavate nara. He can become perfect. Samsiddhi lavate nara. Sakarma nirata siddhi jatha bindati tatvinu. I'll explain to you, Krishna says. Now this sakarma, sakarma, of course now 
we are uh, engaged in so many different types of duties. But uh, the Vedic civilization, there are uh, four divisions of social society and four divisions of spiritual and life. It is called varna and ashram. Four varnas means brahman, khatriya, vaisya, sudra. This is social arrangement. And uh, spiritual arrangement, brahmachari, grihastha, vanaprastha, and sannyas. So we are known, advertised as Hindu. Actually, uh, there is no such word in the whole Vedic literature, Hindu. It is a name given by the Mahavadans uh, on account of the river Sindhu. They pronounce Sa as Ha. So the Sindhu was mispronounced as Hindu. And the side or this side of Indus river who resided, they are called by the Mahavadans as Hindu. The Hindu name is given by the Mahavadans. Actually, our uh, dharma is varna Four varnas and four ashramas. That is the real name, varna uh, The whole Vedic culture is dependent on Varnas. It is meant for everyone, not that it is meant for Indians only. No. Four Varnas and four Ashramas. So how these four Varnas are recognized? That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahman. The first varna is Brahman. Brahman is the head of the varna's uh, social arrangement. So, uh, um, Brahmana, first of all, it is said, uh, uh, yeah. Not here in the eighteenth chapter, in the uh, I think fourth chapter. Chatur Varna Maya system Gunadharma Vibhara. The Chatur Varna, the Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, and Sudra, they are created by me according to uh, uh, Guna and Kaum. Quality and action. Uh, one is designated, here is an engineer. This engineer is not by birthright, because my father is an engineer, so I become an engineer. No. You must have the qualification of the engineer. That is called guno. Uh, if you simply say that I am a son of an engineer, Therefore, you must accept me as engineer. That is not accept. Have you got qualification of engineer? If he says yes, then consider it. So, guna. Then I have got guna, but I do not practice it. Suppose I have passed medical examination, but I do not practice. Then nobody will call me a doctor. I must practice. I must cure patient. Then I will be known as medical practitioner. So guna karma vibhāga. Not only quality, but also practice. So what are the gunas? The gunas are described in the Bhagavad-gītā. Everything is there. Simply we have to study thoroughly and understand it thoroughly. Then the whole human society will be in peace. And they will make progress not only in this life, uh, but in the next life also. Uh, therefore, it is said, Sangsiddhi labhate nara, 
Sesi karoni nirata samsiddhi lavati nara. What is that samsiddhi? Maam upeta kaunteya dukkhalaya masasatam nabhivanti mahatmana samsiddhi nilavati. That is samsiddhi. The samsiddhi means, perfection of life means that this life we shall act in such a way that next life, after giving up this body, we have to give up this body. But we should not give up this body like cats and dogs. That is human civilization. The cats and dogs, they also give up their body. And if we also give up our body like cats and dogs, that is not uh, a success of life. That is failure of life. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj has said that Durlavam Manasam Janma Tadapi Adhurvam Arthalam. Durlavam, this human form of life is Durlava. Durlava du means difficult. And Loha means gain. After many, many millions of years of evolution process, we get this human form of life. That is the nature's. Pratite kiramanani gunai karmani saros. We are being carried by the laws of nature. So this human form of life is very durlava, very rarely got. Durlava manasana janma, kaumara vasadit prajna dharmana bhagavataniya, durlava manasana janma, tadopi adhurvam arthala. This is the version of Prahlad Maharaj. He was preaching Krishna consciousness among his school friends because he was born in a demon's father's family, Kiranna Krishiku. Uh, he was taught uttering even Krishna. He could not get any opportunity in the palace. So when he was coming to his school, at the Chiefin Ava, he would call his small friend, five years old, and he would preach. Uh, this Bhagavad Dharma. Uh, the friends should say, My dear Prahlad, we are now children. Oh, what is the use of this Bhagavad Dharma? Let us play. Now he said, No. Komaro Achadet Prakgo Dharman Bhagavatani. Durlavagaman Jamjan. My dear friends, don't say that we keep it aside for cultivating Krishna consciousness in old age. No, no. Durlava. No, when we shall die, before the next day, we must complete this Krishna consciousness education. That is the aim of human life. Otherwise, we are losing the opportunity. So, everyone wants to live forever, but nature will not allow that. That's a fact. We may think very independent, but we are not independent. We are under the stringent laws of nature. A young man, you cannot say that I will not become old man. No. You must become. That is the law of nature. And if you say, I will not die. No, you must die. This is law of nature. So we, we are, uh, therefore, the murhas, we do not know practically what is the law of nature? Pagite kiramanani gunai karamani sarvasa ahamkaro vimura atma kartaham iti mannate. Everything is being pulled down by the laws of material nature. And still, because you are so full and rested, you are thinking independently. This is our fault. This is our folly. We do not know what is the aim of life, how prakriti nature is carrying us, how we can protect ourselves from the problems of life. We are busy in solving the temporary problems of life, just like dependence or independence. These are temporary problems. Actually, we are not independent. 
we are dependent on the laws of nature. And suppose we become independent, so-called independent, for a few days. That is not independence. Real independence is how to get out of the clutches of this material law. Uh, therefore Krishna presents before you the problem amongst... Uh, the, we have got so many problems, but that is temporary. Real problem is, Krishna says, Janma vittu jarabhya dhi dukha dosanu darsanam. A man of knowledge should always keep in the front the real problem. What is that? But death, old age and disease. Uh, this is your real problem. Uh, so the human life is meant for solving these four problems. Birth, death, old age and disease. And that can be done by Krishna consciousness. So we are pushing on this Krishna consciousness movement to solve the ultimate problems of life. So our request is that you take this Krishna consciousness movement very seriously and solve the ultimate problems of life. Uh, and that problems of life can be solved simply by understanding Krishna. Uh, simply by understanding Krishna. Janma karma vibhamme ju janati tattata tattata deham punar janma this is the solution of problem. Uh, then what will be the benefit, Mahamiti, by going back to home, back to Krishna? The Mahamupetra to Kaunteya Dukkhalam Asasatam Nabhuvanti. Mahamupetra to Kaunteya Sansiddhi Lavate Param. This is Sansiddhi. That anyone who comes back to me, Krishna says, then dukkhāla vasāsatam nābhūvanti. He does not get any birth in this material world, which is dukkhāla vasāsatam. Krishna certifies about this world as dukkhāla, the place of misery. And we are trying to be happy. Uh, this is our illusion. You cannot be happy in this material world. Tell me if anyone is happy. Nobody is happy. The problem, only problem, beginning from the womb of mother up to the again, next death, simply problem. This is material life. Therefore Krishna says, Mahupetra to Kaunteya, Dukkhalaya Masasatam, Nabhuvanti. He does not come again. That is solution. That is sansiddhi lavate nara. So the society must be divided as suggested in Bhagavad Gita and other Vedic literature that chātup bannaka maya system guna karma vibhāgas. There must be four bannas and four asamas, ideas. Uh, then you may be a śudra, you may be a grihastha, you may be a brāhmaṇa. Everyone will get salvation. Everyone attain the perfection if we adopt this process. Uh, so there must be one class of man, first class man, uh, idea, that we will learn that here is an ideal class of man. Let me try to imitate or follow them. Uh, but there is no ideal man now at the present moment. Uh, everyone is Shuddha. Kalau Shuddha Sambhava. Uh, then how the society will be happy? It is not possible. Uh, because there is no ideal man. Uh, so here Krishna says that he, we should create, we should educate a section of man who are by brāhmaṇa, by guna and karma, uh, not by birth. Then society will be happy. Sama, dhamma, this is the brahminical qualification. Sama, dhamma, stapas, saucham, khānti, ā, javame, vacha. 
ज्ञानं विज्ञानमास्तिकम ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभाव सो अवर दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट इज दैट फॉर द टाइम मे वी आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट ए सेक्शन ऑफ मैन नॉट फ्रॉम इंडिया नॉट फ्रॉम हिंदू नेवर कृष्ण नेवर से that these things can be done only in india and among the section in hindu no it is open for everyone ah it is open for everyone just like if you start an engineering college does it mean that it is meant for hindus or muslims or a certain nationality no it should be open for everyone ah anyone who wants to become a brahman He can become Brahman. Uh, of course, uh, the what is called conservative class of men, they come to fight with us that how we are making Brahmanas from the European and uh, American people. They are less so than Java. No, that is not Shastri Indian. Shastri Indian shan is there. Uh, it is spoken by Narada Muni, not ordinary person, but the great authority Narada. He was instructing about this Banasam Dharma to Maharaj Yudhishthir, and he said, he summarized, "My dear King, jasahi jat lakshanam proktam banabhi banjakam jadi anatra bi disheta tatte naiva bini dishe." Disease in start. So here is the lakshan symptom. He is Brahman. Sama, sama means uh, controlling the sense, uh, uh, controlling the mind in every circumstances. Mind is steady. That is called sama. And dama means senses, controlling the senses. Uh, say my tongue is dried up. Asking for a cigarette. Uh, now, if I am Brahmana, then I shall say, "No, you cannot smoke. That is dumb. That is dumb." Oh. He senses dictate me. We are now at the present moment. We are all servants of the senses. Uh, I have already explained that our real occupational duty is to become servant. So instead of becoming servant of Krishna, we are now servant of our senses. This is our material life. So if you, instead of becoming servant of the senses, if you become master of the senses, then you are a Brahma. Then you are a Brahma. Not that you will remain a servant of the senses, and because you are born in a Brahmin family, you remain a Brahmin. This is miscalculation. Uh, this is not allowed. Therefore, Krishna says, "Sama dama, tapa." This sama dama, how it can be practiced without tapa? Uh, it is so easy thing that you can control your mind and senses, but uh, with tapa, you must agree. That is human life. Tapa dibang putraka jina sudhi to satta. Uh, Bishop Dev was advising his sons, "My dear boys, this human form of life is meant for tapasya. Tapu, what for tapasya? The bum to realize the supreme Deva. Why it is required? Tapu, uh, the bang of uttarka jeno suddhi the satya. Your existence will be purified if you practice tapasya." Now, what is my existence? Am I impure? Yes. Therefore, you are dying. Otherwise, you are eternal. Na hanna te hanna maani sadhi de. You will be eternal, but you are dying. You are subject to death because your existence is impure. Therefore, tapo dibham putra kani na sudde. Jasma Brahma so kamanantam. If you want really blissful life eternally, then you must come to the eternal existential position platform. Uh, 
तो ब्रह्म सुख हम अनंत टू बिकम हैप्पी टू बिकम जॉयफुल दैट इज योर राइट बिकॉज यूर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कृष्ण गॉड ही सच्चिदानंद विग्रह यूर पार्ट एंड पार्सल तो यू आर नाउ फॉलोइन and you are trying to get that blissful life but you are trying falsely falsely in a platform where there, there is dukha and masasara it is not possible you come to the spiritual platform you come to your original consciousness then your uh, satta your existence will be purified and you enjoy enjoyment is your right uh, so therefore the samadama can be practiced provided you agree to uh, execute tapasya tapasya therefore in this krishna consciousness moment we are training these boys anyone it doesn't matter what he is no initiate says no intoxication no meat eating no gambling this is tapasya those who are practiced to this bad habit for that it will be very difficult very difficult yes one of our god brother went to preach in london and lord jetland he was talking with him and he said god sai ji can you make me a brahmin so he said yes why not you give up this whole bad habit and he said it is impossible He said clearly, it is impossible. This is our life. Uh, but at the present moment, uh, these boys, hundreds and thousands of boys, they are giving up this practice. This is called tapasya. Uh, hundreds and thousands. Uh, they have agreed. Uh, uh, I am not bright then. I am poor in here. But they have agreed. Yes, they are actually practicing. No illicit sex. No gambling, no meat eating, and no intoxication. They do not smoke it. Don't take tea. Uh, this is called tapasya. So some of the more brahminical first qualification can be practiced, provided you agree to undergo tapasya, tapa. Uh, and then it is not very difficult. Not that because these boys, European and American boys, have given us this bad habit. they are dying for it no rather their parents their countrymen say that bright face when they chant on the street they have become surprised their fathers and some of the fathers they come to thank me sami ji it is our great fortune that you are come to us because they know that how their sons are being rectified from the lsd have it uh, professor judah has written uh, a book very nice book appreciating that how this lsd man could become krishna conscious servant of krishna so it is everything is possible provided you agree prasha samadama tapo then souch very clean everyone must take bath thrice daily And wash the cloth. This is so tough. External, so tough. So they are doing that. Uh, they are rising early in the morning at half past three and taking bath. In this country, uh, they don't even require hot water. Uh, in cold water, uh, so tough, very clean. Samadha was tapas so tough. Khanti, tolerance. Khanti, adhamam, simply, simply, simply. खांसी आचम अमीब ज्ञानम नॉलेज वन इज दैट नॉलेज नॉलेज दैट आई एम नॉट दिस बॉडी दिस इज नॉलेज एंड इफ आई सिंपली आई थिंक आर दिस बॉडी यू मे एडवांस इन योर सो कॉल साइंटिफिक नॉलेज योर ए फूल दिस इज कॉल ज्ञान एंड विज्ञान प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ज्ञानम विज्ञानम देन आस्तिकम Asikam means to believe in the injunction of this asik. 
That is called theism. Uh, one who does not believe in the in the just like Krishna is advised in the Bhagavad Gita. One who believes in the words of Krishna, he is asked. One who does not believe, he is nasty. This is the astic or nasty. Uh, so our nasty definition means one who does not believe in the Vedic instruction, he is called nasty. Uh, the Brahmana must be astikam sama dama sapasaucham khanti arjvame vacha jnanam vijnanam astikam brahma dharma sabhava. If you acquire these qualifications, then you are Brahma. So it is very difficult. Simply there is no training center throughout the whole world. There is no such training. Uh, department. There are many department of knowledge. But how to create a, an ideal Brahmana, there is no education. There is no education. Therefore, the Brahmana is considered to be the head of the body. Uh, just like we have got this body, this head is to be considered as Brahma. And the arm is to be considered as khatri. The belly is to be considered as bhaiṣya, and the leg is considered as sudra. So as to maintain this body nicely, you must everything in order. The head, brain must be in order, the hand, arms must be in order, the belly must be digesting food and getting energy, and the leg also must walk. Similarly, Sese karmani nirata, never mind, you are a brāhmaṇa, khatriya, bhuśya, śudra. If your aim is to keep the body uh, in order, then either you become brāhmi, either you become khatriya or śudra, everything is in order. That is equal. Uh, unless these instructions are followed as given by Krishna, he comes, jada jada hi dharma sadhvāni bhavati. He comes there. He leaves this instruction. If you take advantage of this instruction and make your society, family, or government, everything, according to the instruction of Bhagavad Gita, then everything is perfect. Otherwise you are doomed. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Bhagavad Gita, married life is required. Uh, sex under marriage rules is permitted. Dharma viruddha kamosmi. Sex lives, ahara nidra bhayamaitho, these are bodily necessities. Uh, eating, sleeping, sex, and defense. Ahara nidra bhayama infinanta. So that these four kinds of necessities are there in the animals also. The dog also eats, sleeps, sex life, and defense. 
then what is the difference between the dog's life and man's life? The difference is the dog's life is not regulated under religious principle. The man's life is regulated under religious principle. So under religious principle, if you arrange for sex life, then it is good. Otherwise it is dog's life. Any other questions? Swamiji, throughout the world, the kind of religion that is practiced hasn't seemed to help to solve the problems. We find that people throughout the world are ill-fed, ill-clothed, and ill-housed. Do you think? A movement of the side could solve the problem. Yes, I already explained what is meaning of religion. Religion means to render service to God. If you do not render service to God, that is not religion, that is cheating. Therefore, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said. Dharma Prochita Kaita Bhatra Parama Nirmasarana Satam. That cheating type of religion is completely rejected from Srimad Bhagavad. That is not Dharma. That for Krishna says, Sarva Dharman Paritaja Mami Kang Sarana. This is Dharma. Dharma to Sakshad Bhagavad Pranita. Dharma means the codes and the laws given by God. The God says, that to surrender unto him. Mami kam saranamba. So if one does not surrender to God, that religion has no meaning. It is useless. Other questions? Swamiji, I would like to ask you one question, and that is, in this time of Kali Yuga, is it possible that a layman could uh, see the Paramatma with his naked eye? And if he can, what he has to do or what? The Paramatma cannot be seen with your naked eye. Uh, you cannot see anything with your naked eye. You are very much proud of your eyes. But you do not see things as they are. Just like you are seeing daily the sun, it is just like a disk. But it is not a disk. It is fourteen hundred times, fourteen hundred thousand times bigger than this planet. So, you cannot see God, Paramatma, by these eyes, these material eyes. You have to create your eyes. Uh, uh, that is said, Premanyana Churita Bhakti Bilochanena Santas Hadaivari Dayesu Bilopayanti Yan Shama Sundaram Achinta Gunasa Rupam Govinda Madi Purusam Tamamavada. You can see God. Or Krishna, when you have developed a love for him, otherwise you cannot see. So this is the uh, formula. You have to develop your. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita in the seventh chapter. I was speaking yesterday. Maya sattva mana pratham jogam dunjan madasa. Asamsang samad brahma yathar ecstasy yathasya. So this is a practice how to see God. But in this Kaliju, as we have mentioned, Kaliju, it is very simple thing. What is that? The simple thing is, Kalau dosa nidhi rajan hi asti eko mahanadu. The Shastra, it is said, 
This Kali Yuga is full of faults. So many faults. It is the ocean of faults. But uh, uh, there is a very nice thing. Mahanaguna. A very great quality. What is that? Kritanadeva Krishna sa mukta sangha parambandi. If you simply chant Hare Krishna mantra, then you become perfect. Is it very difficult? Chant Hare Krishna, you become perfect. But we are so unfortunate, we are not really prepared to chant. This is our goal. So you have to make little determination that I shall chant hence forward Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. Then everything will be Any questions? Now we chant Hare Krishna, let them die. <laughs>